Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a demonstration on my fire beaner carabiners that I've been getting asked all kinds of questions about. So let's get right into it. Okay, so to get things started, these are products from Outdoor Elements and there is a version one and a version two. Now version one is the basically the one that you guys have been seeing for two years on my channel. It is still a spark wheel, but there are various tools built into these carabiners. Version two is geared more towards first responders, firefighters, people in the health industry. And version one, I believe is just for the basic outdoorsman. I mean, it's just a neat little tool. It's got a, a whole bunch of tools on it and the spark wheel, but we'll have a closer look at both of these, show you guys the differences between the two, and then show you what kind of tools can be utilized on each of them. Okay guys, so starting off here we have version 2 on the right in the red and version 1 in the silver on the left. You guys can clearly see there is a big difference in size and a lot of difference in functionality. I want to show this up close so you guys can get a really good idea of the size differences. Okay, so having a look at version number 1. This is very small. It's easy to clip on your backpack or your keychain. Your, your, your whatever you need it to go on basically just it, it's a nice carabiner it does have a weight limit on it for 100 pounds 45 kilograms however it says not for climbing so don't try and go climbing with this it's just it can hold 100 pounds of strength is what it's trying to say now built into this tool right off the bat i can see there's a flathead screwdriver there is a letter opener or a strap cutter on the side with a removable blade and also this works as a bottle opener as well. And then up here we do have the spark wheel, which is replaceable flint. So you can actually remove the screw out the back and Outdoor Elements su supplies a, a bonus flint with it when you purchase them. So I still have the other flint that this one came with and this is two years old. And you guys can see it's still sparking, but I probably could use to change the flint any, any day now, I think, but uh, it's still working and it's been used countless times. Um, so that's version number one. You will notice that, I mean, my hand's not the biggest. I can get three fingers inside of there. I can't get the fourth. Uh, so sometimes I just do the three and kind of space my fingers out so it's not kind of flopping around. But you really got to get three fingers in there to actually work it. With the version two, you can actually get your whole hand inside of it. So I find that a little bit more comfortable and there are a lot more tools on version two, but we'll talk about that in just a second. So this version one works really great for canister stoves as version two does as well. But this is what I typically use it for the most. It lights it, but you guys can see that this flint doesn't need to be changed. It's been lighting this canister for over two years. It, uh, it could use to be changed. So I may be swapping that out uh, anytime now. I will say that the blade on this never really worked well. Uh, version two was much better, but the blade on version number one is replaceable. I, I basically, I'm just too lazy to take it out. There is a screw, I can take it out and I can put it on my honing stone and hone it back to sharpness. And I believe that's the only thing that needs to be done with it, but I've never actually used the blade on it. Uh, it's basically a screwdriver, a bottle opener, and a fire beaner for me. It works great for wax cotton balls too, for lighting campfires. So that's version number one. Let's have a look at version number two. Okay, so having a look at version number two, I want to do a tabletop view of this because there are a lot of tools on here that I want to cover. So you'll notice version number one is pretty basic in its form, but still very useful. Version two is a little more complicated. So we do have a bottle opener, which is underneath of the clasp. You actually put the cap right there. And when you pull back, it'll snap the cap off. So it's a very unique way to get the bottle cap off. We have the same flint wheel and that flint can be removed with a screw on the backside as well. Up here, we then have a pointed glass breaker. We have an O2 wrench. We have a quarter bit wrench right here. So you guys can put all kinds of screwdriver bits in there and uh, it works really well, I can say that myself. And then here we have this rubber cover, which gains access to the strap cutter or the belt cutter. It's also a great unboxing blade too, if you happen to have parcels in the mail. And you'll notice that these are two screws that secure this in there. So if you do happen to damage it, you could pick up another one from Outdoor Elements. Okay, so with version two being a lot more complicated than version one, 
I have to say, if you're on the fence about which one you would like, or if you're thinking about picking one up, I would highly recommend version two, to be totally honest. Version number one is still a very good tool, and I still use it a lot. It actually goes on my keychain a lot now. Version two basically lives on my backpack. It's with me all the time, whether I need it or not, it's hanging on my backpack. It's just there just in case I need it. Now with this flint being new, because I've only had this for probably about two months now, it will strike a canister stove very, very good with the first strike. So I really do need to replace the flint on the first version. I'll get around to doing that probably within the next week or so. Uh, I just wanted to make this quick short video for you guys because I've been getting asked a ton of questions about these. So these are fire beaners from Outdoor Elements. I figured I might as well do a short video showing you guys the differences between version one and version two. Like I said, there are many different colors of these. I chose the red just because I'm outdoors a lot. And if I happen to drop it, it's easy to find. The silver one is relatively easy to find, but I find the red really does jump out other than in the fall season. So if I put this down in the fall, it's easy to lose. So typically I click it on my backpack and when I need it, I use it and then I click it right back on my backpack or I'll often click it on the handle to my canister stove just like that so I know where it's at. But all in all, awesome tools. I really do enjoy them. Nice EDC tools for bringing out in the back country. Uh, outdoor element fire beaner. So now you guys know. So that is all that I've got for you guys today. I am out camping right now and I just felt that I would take a, a little bit of time and share fire beaners with you guys. So peace out guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Later on guys.